contributed capital, cash dividends. Well, what do you do if the Board of Directors declares a cash dividend that has to be paid between two different types of stock, common stock and preferred stock? Well, preferred stock gets first dibs. In fact, preferred stock is preferred because it has certain features that common stock does not. And those features make it interesting to buy. In this case, we're going to look at exercise 9, and it says that we have $100 par value preferred stock. And it says it's 7%. What they're trying to tell you there is that the preferred stock will get a dividend of 7% of the par value. So every year preferred stock is going to get 7% times $100, which is a $7 dividend. Now, the second thing I'm interested in is whether the preferred stock is cumulative or non-cumulative. If preferred stock is cumulative, that means that the preferred stockholders are going to get that 7% dividend every year. And if the company doesn't declare or pay a dividend that year, that $7 accumulates and must be paid first before the common stockholders ever see a penny. So here we have a company in Exercise 9 which says in 2000X6 we did not declare a dividend. Well, that means that the preferred stockholders are going to accumulate the right to a dividend, which is going to be $7 a share times however many shares of preferred stock are outstanding. And in the problem, it tells me there are 20,000 shares outstanding. So the uh, preferred stockholders are accumulating the right to 7 times 20,000, $140,000. Now, there's no money to pay this. So what do we call it? Now, here's a fun word. It's called an arrearage. In other words, there is dividends in arrears. I like to think of it as kind of like a big cumulus cloud because 140000 is a cloud over the corporation's head and it's following it around until such time as it has money to pay. In other words, it rains 140000 down upon the preferred stockholders. Hope that made sense. So in year one, Nothing is paid to the preferred stockholders. Nothing is paid to the common stockholders because there's no money. But there's this arrearage of 140000 So in X7, when we have 240000 to pay out in dividends, notice we have to pay that arrearage first of 140000 Plus, we need to pay another 140000 but wait, we can't pay that much because the maximum we have to pay is 240000 So 240000 will go to the preferred stockholders. Nothing is going to the common stockholders. But do we have an arrearage again? Yeah, because 140 and 140 is 280. We can only pay 240. So is there 40000 in arrears? Cloud over the head. In X8, good news. We pay the 40000 in arrears, plus we pay the 140000 that we have to every year to the preferred stockholders. So the preferred stockholders are going to get, let's see, I'll put this number white, $180,000. But we have two eighty dollars to... Uh, available. So do the preferred or do the common stockholders finally get something? Yeah, common stockholders will get a hundred thousand. So common a hundred thousand, preferred one eighty. Now in X nine, sorry I looped down there. In X nine we have uh, the stockholder or the board of directors declared two hundred and eighty thousand. Since there's nothing in arrears, what's the maximum the preferred stockholders are going to get? They're going to get the 20,000 shares times the $7 a share or 140,000. Who gets the rest? 
common stockholders. She had 140,000. So this is how you divvy up the dividends declared between the common and the preferred stockholders if the stock is cumulative. If it's non-cumulative, no clouds.